Fingers, you just said. <laughs> it's a big one. <laughs> Snap of the fingers, okay. Okay, it's probably going to sound pretty controversial, and um, I, I don't know if you're looking for as kind of like a, a lightweight answer to this, but you're not going to get one. Whatever you want. Yeah. Abolish religion. <laughs> it seems to me that religion is pretty much the core of all the world's problems right now. And it's not just religion, it's, it's fervent. Um, belief in something, commitment to something. If we could be actually slightly less committed to things, then there would be less fervent, um, feverish sort of activity in people's heads, and maybe people would actually be able to listen to each other a little bit more. Yeah. I think uh, more tolerance between people, so that people. Um, get aware more of themselves and how they behave and how they uh, react on other people and get more tolerated. I would love for us to just get along. I think we should be, I would love for the world, for people to be citizens of the world and not citizens of their own backyard, if you know what I mean. I think, and especially in America where you have people commenting about uh, countries in the world and they've never been outside of their trailer park, you know. It's, it's ridiculous, you know. I mean, people, you, you respect people's culture when you visit people's, uh, other people's. And we, this is, the world is ours, you know what I mean. There shouldn't be, you know, I wish we could get rid of, 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 of barriers and, and, and visas and passports and all of that, you know what I mean, because we're citizens of the world. We should care what happens in, in, in Iraq, and we should care what happens in, in, in Africa and in, in Zimbabwe and, and because of the fact that we are, this is our world, and that and what happens there affect what happens here, you know what I mean? And I think we just, that's one thing I think we should, you know, should be educated on that basically. And for someone like me, it will travel the world and, and basically know, you know what I mean? So when I go somewhere and I hear somebody saying something that's just absurd and ignorant, you just know that this person just never had a stamp in his passport, ever. No offense, Kyle. <laughs> um, oh, mate, there's so many things. Like, there's so many things about the world that are so beautiful, you know, that you wouldn't want to change. But things like poverty, um, that's sad. Uh, while some countries are so wealthy, at the other end of the country there's so, much, there's, there's so many poor people. And that makes me sad. Wars make me sad. Um, and probably the thing that really hurts the most is racism. You know, people are people no matter what colour, uh, where they're from. But when you, when you hear people speaking about other people in a racist manner, it makes me sick. You know? Colour is no information, really. That's right. Yeah. And that, that's probably the thing. I mean, if racism, if, if everybody treated everybody else with respect and the dignity and that sort of stuff, then things like poverty, wars, all those sorts of things would probably disappear, I would think. I think well, the biggest biggest thing is the exploitation of the people. Exploitation, uh, that's what I see everywhere. That's the biggest sin. The, and only thing, only, uh, only the sin of the world is exploitation. Maybe it may be people, it may be country, it may be family, everywhere. So that is changes taking place should be within the heart. And, uh, it should come from the heart and each person has to think. Then I think the whole world will change. If you could just change something with a snap, it would probably be, be the violence just that occurs in, in the whole world. Um, world peace. If everyone gets together, believe me, it's when cricket is on. You get people from all over. The unity, you hear me? Because we got to live as one. You don't have got racism about your place, you know what I mean? Everybody should live as one. We come on earth as one, so we should also live as one. It's all about our heart. It's important that uh, people see the importance of the nature. The world should behave properly, you know, then they'll have less problems. They should respect other cultures other religions, 
and other various things they must respect. No? My concern is definitely one concrete idea that everybody should feel their other people's heart, other people's feelings, other people's need and respect everybody. You know, there is no need to go and quarrel with a person who has a car and protect his bicycle or the other way around. So everybody should respect and accept who they are. And everybody had the right to live on their own, not to disturb you. I must not go and say, you must behave the way I want. No, I said no. You have to be the way you are. Then I respect you. But not to disturb others. I think we have to talk more together. And then I think everybody is going very well.